Hello there, everybody. How is it going? I am Void, and I'm here to do League of Legends commentary for you today. And today, I'm going to be playing Volibear in the top lane, so, uh, let's just see how this goes. We appear to be going against a Pantheon top, which, uh, I haven't actually seen many Pantheons go top lately. And once again, as usual, I'm forgetting that this needs to go way down. So let's do that and buy a Dorn Shield, because we're against Pantheon, so that's definitely what we want to do. Get that ward and probably start our W because there's really very very rare reasons to not start your W. It's like it gives the best leash. Unless you're invading. If you're invading then you want your Q or your E. So there's that. And those guys are just chilling right there. I actually have a Zyra support which you don't really see much anymore so that's interesting. But yes we will just see how this game goes to the bush right here and I actually have a new uh, setup now I'm in a new room I have a new desk well it's not new stuff it's just different stuff rather but I'm very curious to see if my audio is gonna be better or not in here because I f it should be considering how the room is like set but if it isn't because I don't actually know a lot about audio I just I'm not an expert in that department but I'm hoping I'm hoping my audio is still gonna be fine it's easier to position my mic for one thing, but we'll see. We'll see. My, uh, yeah, there's the tip. Oh, wait, teams up. Uh, yeah, Suo mid Zyra support, Volibear top, Twitch AD carry, Diana jungle. They have a colleague mid Lee in jungle. Leona support, Pantheon top, and Lucian AD carry. Because, you know, I just, I like to, I like to let you guys, let, let you guys know. So let's just, uh, get our frenzy stacks going immediately. Which will be just great. Get that CS. And I do have no AD stuff. He appears to be going something quite different. So let's just uh, do a bit of a trade with him. And we can afford to take more damage than he can. Because, let's see. He has Longsword and Potion. Which is interesting. Don't really see that much anymore. But his Spears are doing a lot of damage due to his just massive amounts of AD. So that is something to keep in mind. How he's doing a lot. Ugh. The good thing is he's using lots of mana to do that. That's one thing you gotta keep in mind, Pantheon. If you just use all of your, uh, all of your, uh, mana doing, uh, spears, you're gonna run out of mana very quickly, so. And I have my pass at the end of the day, so. It's okay, really, if he keeps poking me. I do still need to worry about ganks, though, because a Lee Sin gank could do some pretty serious damage to me. Grand. The same goes for pretty much anybody, so let's just put a ward there. And Yasuo is against Akali, which I think Yasuo is actually one of the only, like, decent people who's decent against Akali. Because, like, I... Akali just counters so many people have played right. And again, I am taking a lot of damage, but I'm mainly... mainly it really isn't that bad. As long as I, uh... Oh, oh geez, oh geez, that was crazy, ganks. Uh, can I dodge the Q? No, I can't. I should... I will still be able to live, though. That will do a lot of damage. That was a very nice gank by Lee Sin and a very scary gank as well. So I am gonna gank because I do not run a risk gain killed by Lee Sin at that point. But so let's just do that and get let's just get boots and get tons of health potions and then head back on the lane. Cause we are gonna miss a decent amount of CS from that. And that may have been a bit too early to go back. But he's not pushing the lane, so I should get there in time, so I won't miss all the, like a humongous wave. And the fact that that's the that's actually the reason it got boots, because that's considering get regrowth pendants, but I wanted to get the lane quick enough. So it sucks I had to burn flash there. But you know, that's just, just the way the world works. Alright. So there's first blood going down there, bot lane. What a shame, let's just eat that to ensure we uh you know get the CS there and try to get as much of that as we can. WQ that to get that. Auto attack, we're gonna miss that one, but we can get this one, and that is that. So there we go, Love, probably level up our frenzy. And he appears to be out of mana, so he will probably go back here, which means we want to push very quickly. And it looks like Zyra getting a kill, but Lucian also getting another kill, so that's no, no, not, not very ideal. But you know, yes, still getting a kill, looks like he went very deep to get it. But at the end of the day, if he got it, then he got the kill, and that is just great. So let's just, uh, I'm not exactly, I'm not actually a great pusher because I have so low AD. Because as you can see, I have no, a, like, bonus AD at all. Which, so could, could be argued with. I've actually been, I, I actually want to try full damage Volibear. 
But it'd probably be really bad because his frenzy scales with health. But just the fact his frenzy and and his thunderclaws would go would go with it so well. So I can see it actually working. So hopefully he'll miss the some CS. Yes, he will miss the siege minions. So that's good. So he should miss some of that. And he just got a Doran's blade. So he is ahead of me in like damage and stuff because I did just get boots because I didn't want to miss CS. So that's something to keep in mind. So let's just chill, dance, and dan dance right here, which you can't see our lovely dance, but he knows. He knows. And uh, let's just walk up and e this e this way right here, and do that and bite him, which is a a decent trade for our part. But he did win that at the end of the day, so he's probably just gonna try spear me again. There it is. And jeez, he does do a lot of damage. I'm not used to seeing Pantheon tops anymore. So I'm probably not gonna win this lane because Morley Bear is my safe top pick. So, what the? you know, if I had my frenzy stack up and he went in on that, I could have killed him easily. But yeah, it's not, not what's going to be happening. So we're just going to let him push the lane here, and that's going to be that. Because we done, we don't want to go up and queue him. We could really use a gank from Diana, but Diana does have a bit of a tr bit bit uh bit problems ganking. Yes, get, get guy on and gank mid. All right. I was not where we had a Guyana. I was not even where Guyana was in the game, but you know, whatever works. So he's definitely just trying to poke me with his spears at this point. Which again, I'm not too concerned with, because it's using lots of mana, and I'm really just trying to, try to survive. I auto attack the wrong minion. No. Eh. Well, I, I'll still get most of this. Ow. Stop it, you nerd. Jeez, one, one, this guy, this Pantheon's such a nerd. And he just wasted his ignite there, so that is something to keep in mind. And my passive was not enough. I don't know why I did that. He is a lot more. He was just ate through my passive completely. And for some reason, I thought it would keep me alive. So that's really disappointing. We will probably just get a warden's mail and go for complete armor at this point because, for one, their team has a lot of AD. And two, I'm gonna need to build armor with me, with the fact that I just died there, because that's gonna bring me behind quite a lot, but Diana going out, the really hard ganks there. Looks like it's gonna go quite well. Can they kill? They should be able to kill Leona. Uh, but Diana doesn't have her ult, so actually, no. They get very close to, but if they had any ignite, they probably could have, because then that come out with Trish's poison. But, alas. And Yasuo, Peckle here, so he will probably, uh, die horribly soon. How's my CS? I am still winning in CS, though. So that's at least a thing. And there's Pantheon gaining the kill, which not not very ideal for him to be gaining another kill. I would prefer that Lee Sin got it or something, but you know, just what what are you, what are you gonna do? So let's just claw those minions to death. Ward right over and actually in the tri bush. Because chances are he's gonna come from there. So because if my calculations are right, he'd be starting as red. Which means he should be nearby. So I'll up our W again. Do this, and that is probably warded because I don't think he should have seen me there. Unless I was barely in vision. Which I'm not entirely sure. But he's doing a pretty decent job of freezing the lane. Just eat that to get that CS. And hope he misses some of that. So it sucks that he has two kills. Can't really do much about that, but at the end of the day, I'm a glorious bear. So that's all we really need in life. Uh, if you're wondering why you don't see many top videos for me, this is why. Like, Wally Bear I can say to be my, probably my most, my best or safest top laner. And I, I still, I still get outplayed so easily. And by a Pantheon, like, like Pantheon, look, look, I just, I don't, I don't return up to, <coughs> oh god, why am I dying? Yeah, Sua gained a kill, but Diana will die. Akali's at least gained the kill, so that's not going to give dull buffs to the least in. So at least that's a thing. And let's just eat those minions. He actually kind of walked away there. He could have just stayed on me and tried to zone me. But he did not choose to do that. So, that's a thing. And again, he just keeps poking with spears. At least he's right out of mana now. So. Because if when he can stop poking with spears, then he can stop doing a lot of his main damage. And let's paint that he is MIA. Not that he can actually do anything. As you know, everyone's kind of dead. And how do you get so much mana back? I don't understand. Oh, oh jeez. 
Let's see if we can do something here, and let's just get a kill, and there we go. That should be a kill? Yeah, that was gonna be a kill. So there we go, he went too far in, which let me take the advantage and destroy him. Because lots of people don't seem to understand. Like, if you're under a tower with a Volley Bear attacking with Thunderclaws, you're probably going to die. <laughs> because, I mean, his Vol- his- how much does that add? 75 magic damage, that's mo if you int it, that's more than a BF sword in magic damage, and that's- if you didn't know, that's a lot. Like, and that is probably a decent idea. So let's just get that, and then try to skedaddle. That- I may die here. Uh, let's flash, and we'll be fine, okay. I'm actually not sure if I need to flash, but I didn't want to risk- I just didn't want to risk her getting like another key or something. So... But I, just, I, just, I wanted to play it safe, because I didn't know if she like had an eye or something. And there's the Pantheon ult going down, causing Yasuo to flash as well. So let's just, um, probably get Ninja Tabai with the lane we're in. But then I can't get my Giant Spelt, but that's not really what we need right now. So let's just get Health Potions, because at this, we're probably just going to go pure tank here in this game, because there's not many situations where you don't. So I'll probably get Randuin's. Followed by Sunfire, Spirit Passage, and I'll probably get something like a Wits End, because you do want to attack speed on Bully Bear. And Wits End, and like on hit items are one way to definitely do that. So at least in trying to go in and do some stuff here, he he should he should not be there. <laughs> That's, I think Yasuo's gonna die, yep. I don't know why he went in there, that was really not the brightest idea in the world, but I guess, I guess he thought he can do more than he than he did so yeah but you know he tried he tried all right and that's all that matters let's move that potion there as well and oh oh i didn't get my thing off at least i still got my cs and let's just do that to interrupt that and do some damage to him there and he is low on mana again so he can't really do much to me so he's just gonna run off there so let's push the lane because of that and do this and do this and do this and do this and this and this and this and wait for it yeah, gain all that CS. So let's actually ping that Pantheon is missing. Though I doubt he's actually doing anything. Oh no, he's, he's, he's here. He's here. And it appears like our bot lane is not doing so well against the Lucian. Leona. Granted, Leona anything and Lucian anything can usually be pretty scary. At least it's not like Lucian Braum or something. Because Braum's OP. <laughs> That's kind of a universe, universally accepted thing. Like, I wouldn't say he's extremely OP. But he definitely should be nerfed. Like, mainly, even if it's just some of his natural tankiness, I'm not entirely sure. But, you know, the problem's not in this game, so let's not talk about him. If he was in this if he was in this game, then I'd have more of a reason. And again, I'm being, in CS, I'm being in CS by a significant amount, so that is very much an ideal thing. Apologize. Again, little edit there. It'll be fine. Okay, so he does... He's not that high on mana, so... And again, this is the reason you don't see Pantheon top anymore. Because jungle, you get blue buff, so you can just keep using your spears, which, if you didn't know, that's that's where most of your damage comes from. And let's just a little bully him out right there, because now that we have Warden's Mail and Giant's Belt, we can kind of bully him a lot easier. So that's very good. Even if our damage is so low, our ult pretty much makes up for our auto attack damage. Let's actually see if we can do something here. And I actually dodging the Q there. I'm surprised I was able to do that. And Diane is actually here. I did not catch on to the stuff going on there. So let's see if we can do something here. And let's use our ult right here and see if we can do something here. He actually got his ult off. And use our... Yeah, yeah! See what I did there, guys? If you didn't see what I did there, I auto-attacked the minions, so my Thunderclaws would channel him. Because if you didn't know, which changed with four nearby enemies. And that's... It does even... It's funny because you would think it would be like a percentage but no, that's, it does the full amount of damage, so I have to keep that in mind at the last second. But there we go, that is very good game by Diana. Actually getting myself back in this game, and I'm going to try to push this lane as much as I can. Just bite that one, and let's not miss CS in the process of pushing. So there we go, and this, and we're not going to be able to push it so much to where Pantheon will miss CS, but so I'm going to be able to push it so I can go back to lane easily. So there we go. Let's just recall here and have Pantheon do that stuff. So there we go. We'll be able to get our Randuins and level 2 boots. 
And I do want these actually because of the tenacity. But they do also have a lot of... They actually don't have much auto attack and just maybe a physical. So the ninja type actually wouldn't help me that much in that regard. Because Lucian's the only auto attack heavy champion on their on their team. Yes, they have a lot of AD. But Lee Sin's more about burst. Oh wait, no. Uh, I didn't see got Riggles. If I knew we went Riggles, then I would probably should have gotten Ninja Tabai. But either way, the tenacity is really helpful. That armor helped me against a Kali. So that is that. And I believe that Lucian is the main concern by the looks. I will paint that Pantheon is missing, so it's very likely he's gonna try to ult somewhere. Nope. He is still here. Because he is his ult is okay, his ult's level gonna be level two soon. And they should be able to kill Lee Sin here, actually. And Pantheon actually Hello. Hello friend. You can't out damage me and he knows it. There we go, just biting him right there and uh Apparently they're like all pushing mid or something. I'm not entirely sure what's actually happening. And I just don't even know. So let's just uh, do this and uh, I mean Looks like they're getting dragon alright, so that's not that bad. I mean it's bad, but it's not that bad. And that's at the end of the day that's what matters. What? Okay, okay, please lag please. Lag please. Don't work with me. Okay, good. It's just temporary folks, temporary. And I bite that. Do this. And we're just racking up that CS. I actually have the most in the game right now, which is quite pleasing. No, oh, I missed one. I missed one. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. Oh well. Paying that Pantheon's missing again. Because he can very well do some serious stuff. Is he down there? What the, the heck? What the hell are you doing, Sonny? I'm not going to ult because I don't have Ignite, so I wouldn't be able to kill him. Otherwise, if I had my Frenzy and Ignite up, then I, then I would have gone in on him here. In fact... If, if I'm still up here, and I get my Ignite up, I think I can kill him. I think I can dive him, because, again, he doesn't do much damage to me. So, am I, and I'm getting more on this as we know it. So let's just do some stuff right here. And, oh jeez, oh jeez. The baits. The baits. Huh. Huh, he just kicked me. That's, I'm going to flash for this. Huh. Huh. Huh, yeah. huh. 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 No. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No. 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 Wait, we both messed up. Oh my god. I just once my thunderclaws th thunderclaws thunderclaws ran out, and I didn't realize they ran out, and then I was doing no damage to him whatsoever, and that's that was definitely a mistake on my part. I thought I would have done more damage than I did. I was my ignite up. I swear. I think I probably did. I forget to ignite. <laughs> <laughs> or did it just come up? I don't... Oh, that was still a mistake on my part. So that's a shame. So what do I buy now? It's probably Spirit Visage, but I do kind of want more armor, being of what their team is like. So I'm just going to get a Giant Spell in preparation for Sunfire Cape. Because I am, at the end of the day, going to be near them all the time. And I'm just going to take a drink of water here. <sighs> Wonderful. I should like turn away from the mic when I drink, that's probably a good idea, so you guys don't, go, don't have to hear like <laughs> But, you know who does that, right? Who turns away from their mic? <laughs> okay. So there's a Kali. Uh, Pantheon is MIA. But, it doesn't seem to matter because it's got early destroyed. So, those guys can push mid, I'm gonna go top. And see if I can say hi to this Pantheon here, who did build Bot Cleaver first, which is a pretty ideal thing to do, being that he's up against a uh, lovely Bully Bear. So there we go, and let's just see if we can get a Frenzy off. No, we cannot. So it's going to be a pretty neutral trade there. Dinah's coming up to gank, but I don't want to walk through a bunch of minions, because at the end of the day, that minions still do damage to me. So if you weren't aware of that, now now you are. All right? And you know what? We all, we all got to learn these things in life. All right? Apparently something's funny. I don't, I don't, where's the jokes? Where's the, where's the jokes? I don't know any jokes. Two peanuts walking to Rome was assaulted. You can, you can fall from the sky. You can fall from the tree. But the best way, um, Leona, is to fall in love with me. Yeah. Boom. Ladies understand. Alright, let's push this lane again. I should probably be helping my team now, because they appear to be in significant pickles lately. But you know what? Who does that? I'm just going to keep pushing this. God damn it, listen. I'm ruining my fun. 
Alright, okay, you should leave. You should leave, Diana. I'm gonna attempt to help her. Uh, no, no, she's probably gonna die. She's probably gonna die. Uh, come on. Come on. No. Nope, nope, this is bad. This is a bad idea. Bad idea. I'm probably gonna get dove here. I'm gonna get dove here. Come on, come on. I'm okay. No, nope. what the what what the hell did you do that for me, Sid? <laughs> what I don't know why I flash. Well, I surely distracted them so they won't be able to get the turret at least. So it's actually not that bad that that happened. But I the bad side is I can't afford to chain this now. But at least uh uh oh Yasuo going in very hard here. I think he's going in a bit too hard though. He may die. Nope, no he won't. Because we have Twitch, who is de go doing decent enough to where he's scary. Because at the end of the day, if you're Twitch, and if you're at least doing okay, you'll be scary. It's got kinda like Draven. If you're doing okay as Draven, you'll be scary. There's some many carries where if you're you're doing okay, you probably won't be scary. Like I'd say Ash is one of those where you probably need to do pretty good on Ash to actually be scary, but otherwise you're just a very easy target to just go on. So just like murder. So Guys, guys, go. Go, I'm coming in from the back. Coming from the back, so if he's retreating way over here. I found him. I found him. All right, let's see if we can do stuff here. Uh, no, no, who does that? Yeah, there we go. And let's just do this right here. And pff, Jesus, Diane did a lot more damage than I thought she would. She has not huh? I'm just not used to seeing Diana anymore. She used to be really popular. I used to hate her. Probably because I made Fizz and Diana counters Fizz, so I thought she was OP. But now she isn't at all. I just thought she was because I didn't know that my main was her uh, counter. And Diana's countered that. So that's the thing. Let's just do this and uh, do that. Ow. Jerk. Like, who does that? Okay, so Leon is there. Those guys want to do Dragon, but I need to help these fellows if they get dove, but they will not get dove. I realize, yes, thank you. I'm assuming the dragon is spawning soon. Yes, it is. 2 2 I like people who keep dragon timers. Alright, but they very much know. So, this is a scary place to be in, but we will get it no problem. We have definitely the damage output. But can we win a full fledged team fight? And we definitely. Oh, Jesus. We definitely can by the looks of it. And let's just ruin that guy and actually use our ult now. So, let's just do some damage to him right there. I'm not gaining the kills. What is this? Which does too much damage. Alright. Look at the big scary thunder bear. Big scary thunder bear. There we go. Oh, I actually didn't do that much fight because the ham, the Zyra and uh Yasuo just kind of destroyed them, and I'm assuming Diana's Q had something to do with it too. So I didn't actually do much that fight. Granted, ahem, if we didn't get those huge AoEs off, then I would have my Thunderclaws at AoE with it. So I just realized how much synergy our team has, because that has a lot of nice like AoE composition. Well, it's by no means like an an uh Oriana Jarvan levels of Wombo Combo, but you know, it's something. It's something. Okay, so Akali built a Lich Bane. I don't agree with building a Lich Bane with the items she has. I personally think Lich Bane isn't a good, like, like, even on Fizz, like, it's just, it's, I don't think it's good for Saima anybody, not even TF. Oh, hello. What have I done? No, what have I done? I should be able to live, because I have my passive, so she can use all the ults on me she wants. They're not gonna kill me. Leave me, leave me alone. Okay, they have my... I should still live, though. <laughs> uh, the wonder tanky, the wonders of tanky Volley Bear. I did have to flash for that, because I didn't, because they ignited me. So, that's a shame. And let's just go back and get my Sunfire. So, it'll be even more impossible to kill them before. Which will just be great. See, Volley Bear understands. Alright, let's go. Let's take a drink of water. And watch Zyra die. Remember when, I said, remember when I said we're gonna watch Zyra die? I was right. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I was wrong, but you know, then then, then she died. And I was yeah. Up. Up. Okay, so Diana should do that. No! No! Uh, are you gonna be fine? Twitch should be fine, but he shouldn't be where, where he is. Cause then he probably will die. And probably many bad things will occur. I'm just trying to keep this a collie off people. Cause yeah, that, that'd be bad. Because <laughs> she still should still have like two charges on her ult. So. And the day, it's hard to peel an Akali because, you know, she'll just dash again. Looks like 
Pantheon killing Diana there. Doesn't look like by a very large margin. But a kill is still a kill. So I don't know if we're going to be able to defend that turret or if he's in that much of a point. Looks like Pantheon actually went back anyway. So let's just stop. Okay, well that never happened. Uh, Pantheon's going to be getting that top turret. Which is just, just a shame, but you know, what are you going to do? We're not going to be able to catch up to them, so I'm not even going to bother. So that's going to be that turret down, but at the end of the day, it's at this point in the game, I don't want to ri risk or do so much defending. God damn it, I should have stayed. <laughs> Wait, no, dragon's down. Dragon's down, okay, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything's good. I could go back to try to be a straight pusher, but I kind of want to help my team at this point, because our team fights are stronger than theirs. So, as long as our colleague doesn't get, get on like a rampage, like a crazy rampage, I want I want that, I want it, but I also, I don't want to leave my team alone. Okay, Diana's gonna go up there, okay, okay, I understand Diana, thank you. And we're just trying to do some stuff with this Akali by the looks of it. But I don't know if we'll be, yeah, yeah, okay. Twitch is probably screwed. <laughs> he is probably screwed. Unless you can, like, outplay this Akali here. But I don't think going to try to help Twitch would be a smart idea, because, yeah, he's screwed. So there's that. Not much I can really do about that. I have 200 armor. So I just have to hope. And Akali doesn't do enough damage to really burst me either. So. Oh, look, look at look at that Sunfire Cape. And part of me actually misses the old Sunfire Cape, because the old Sunfire Cape actually made you on fire. But it was also not as nice as this one. But you know, yeah, it's fine. Maybe if they made it an actual cape. A nice, wonderful cape for the glory. So Pantheon's actually 6 and 2. Because of my freaking teammates over here. So I'm just gonna throw a spear at me there. And there we go. Yeah, so do have a really good combo. And I actually think if I cue somebody with my ult, or not with my ult. <laughs> if I cue somebody with my ult, that makes sense. If I cue somebody with a. Uh, I'm messing. If I use Rolling Thunder on somebody, I think that'll allow Yasuo to ult. At least it should. And there's a kill. Boom. Boom. Game. The flip kills right there. How to kill Stu is Bully Bear 101. That was great. I actually don't know if my Roar Mike you got the kill. But you know what? That is that. So Akali is gone now, but at the end of the day, Pantheon's a lot of their damage and he's not there, so. That is good, so there's Lee Sin in the back. But you know, we don't need to worry about them. There's five of us. We'll be fine. So there's that. Um, let's just see if we can do some stuff here. So they're going in right there. Let's just use our ult and try to do what we can. Let's actually use it on this guy right here. Lucian is his name. And just do this and this and there we go. There's the ace. So that is just grand. Using my ult, doing a lot of combined damage to a lot of them. Not getting a lot of kills this game, but that's not what I'm supposed to do. I'm just supposed to be tanky. And Pantheon can't stop us. So let's just use all of our stuff on him to destroy him. And I got the kill somehow. I actually have no idea how. But you know what? That's okay. So there you guys go. I, I, want, I want to do dancing bows. There we go. There we go. You, you have to dance as Volley Bear. I mean, look at him. It's great. So there you guys go. That's Volley Bear top. Hope you guys enjoyed. Because I think that was a pretty good representation of Volley Bear Top. He's my safe top laner pick. Mainly because it's pretty easy not to feed as top lane. Like, gain kills, you don't have to get kills in top lane as long as you play safe and don't die a lot. And honestly, there's a lot of times where you can get kills too. Like, that Pan the time Pantheon missed early game. And it's, Volley Bear's still a useful champion. I don't really know why he's not played anymore. I honestly think he's a really good top laner, also a good jungler. And you just build tank on him, and he's really difficult to deal with. And then you build attack speed on him later, which I couldn't do, but would have been worth it. Let the soothing music feel your soul. I need to come up with an official outro. 